Hi everyone, my name is Professor Perissa Major. Uh, I'll be teaching Chem 40 Hybrid this summer. Um, I want to welcome you all to, to Chem 40. I'm looking forward to meeting you all. Now the purpose of this video is just to walk you through um, our course and how it is uh, set up. I want to show you um, how our Canvas course is set up. I want to show you where you can find all the information that you need and all the documents um, that, that you need. So when you log into your um, portal uh, and you go to um, your Canvas course, uh, on your dashboard, you're going to see all the courses that you're um, registered in. So in your dashboard, you want to look for our course, which is Chem 40, and you click on our course. So our course is already published. Not all the material is available yet, but some um, documents and some material is um, is available so once you log in this is how your course look like on the home page um, you see information for me my email address and phone number I strongly encourage you to read all the information here watch these three videos here that are more like orientation videos for taking um, online courses now when you scroll down uh, here, we have our course and modules based on the, the week. So each week you can click on these little um, icons here and by clicking on them, this will take you to all the material and everything that you need to study and everything that you need to do for that week. Now to go back to where we started off with, you just click on, on home. Now clicking um, on these icons is not the only way that you can actually um, get to the course material. The other way that you can get to it is by clicking on module tab here. So if you click on modules, it takes you to all the modules we have for this class. So week one, week two, so on and so forth. Now, I strongly encourage um, and I recommend to everybody to read this Mount SAC orientation to Canvas. So for those of you who are new to Canvas or haven't had um, any online courses, it gives you lots and lots of information about how to use and how to navigate on Canvas. Now let's go back to our course and I want to show you um, what the structure of the course is. So um, let's say um, the courses are started and on week one you click on week one. Now on each week I will have a little header here that would tell you and explain to you um, what you need to get done for that particular week. Usually um, how it works is that um, I have the lecture slides, I have the lecture videos posted for the chapters we're supposed to, to read uh, for that particular week. So I'll post the videos, I'll post the lecture slides if uh, it applies and um, you need to read your textbook. Uh, watch the lecture videos and do practice problems and then do the assignments that are um, posted for that week. For example, week one, um, I want you to complete the welcome assignment and I also tell you that chapter one and two are scheduled for, for week one so you're gonna have to read chapter one and two from your textbook and also I want you to watch the, the lecture video that's posted. So we have two lecture videos here and once you complete uh, watching and studying chapter one and two you want to make sure that you complete the welcome assignment 
by June 25th and your homework number one, which is due by June 24th. Now for week two, same thing. So on our schedule, we're supposed to do chapters three, four, and five. So you want to read the chapters from your textbook, uh, watch the lecture videos, complete your homework assignments. And then since we will be starting the lab, you want to complete the pre-lab and then the other assignments. So this is the structure of how each module is going to look like. So I have all the lecture videos posted first, and then you see all your homework assignment that everything that's due and you can see their due dates here. Now, one thing that I want to bring your attention to is that for each chapter, I post the learning objective for that chapter. I strongly recommend and encourage you to read the learning objectives. Learning objectives give you the topics that you must know from each chapter. So make sure when you study, you check with your learning objectives and make sure that every single topic that's posted on the learning objective that you actually understand and you actually study those. So this is the, the structure for the, for the class. Now, I also want to show you uh, how the course is set up uh, in terms of the modules and um, weekly material. So the each week or each module is going to open up Fridays at 7.30 a.m. So let's say the material for week two will be posted this Friday at 7.30 a.m. The material for week three is going to be posted the Friday of week two at 7.30 a.m. So that will give you enough time to study all the material and everything way ahead of time and that will also allow you enough time to get your homework done. Um, now, in terms of um, due dates, I want to show you a couple of things. So let's say we go to week two or week three. So for each assignment, I'm just going to click on one assignment. As you see here, it tells you when the assignment is due. Now, all your assignments are due on a Monday at 7.30 a.m. So the due date is already um, visible in your module. When you click on the homework, it also gives you the due date. Also, if you go to your course calendar, it also gives you everything that's that's due. So there are at least three places that you can see where the assignments are and when they're due. So make sure that you pay attention to all of these and make sure that you don't miss any deadlines for your for your assignments. So one other thing that I want to show you is that um, most of your homework assignments, almost all of them, uh, you'll be turning them uh, online. So let's say, for example, this homework assignment. So you click on this homework assignment. And I'm going to open it up here for you. So we have the chapter, the title, learning objectives, and you scroll down. And this is homework. Uh, this is how your homeworks would look like. So you can either print this out, you know, complete it, or you can, if you have tablets, you can complete it here. If you feel comfortable typing, you can type your answers. And once you're done, you have to um, upload your completed homework. Now, in order to upload, you can either, after you print out and complete your homework, you can take pictures and upload the, the pictures to JPEG, or you can um, scan them and upload them, or um, you can also upload PDF or Word um, documents. Now, if you have um, Mac, if you're a Mac user, make sure that the only uh, 
acceptable format is PDF. Um, Word is fine too, but any other format with Mac users, it won't show on Canvas. I won't be able to, to see it. So this is the general format for your, for your course. Um, your quizzes are gonna be done through a system, which is the secure exam proctor. Um, in order to use this, you're gonna need to have a camcorder and you'll be taking the, the quizzes um, at your own pace at, at home. But in order to be able to take the quizzes, you need to have a camcorder and you need to create an account with this secure exam. And let me show you where you find the quizzes too. So let's say um, here, when it says like quiz two, you just click on it and you can take the quiz. Now, I also wanna bring it to your attention that you know this is my account, everything is published, everything is visible. But with your student account, you won't be able to have access to all this document um, here. But the course will open up sequentially um, each week and once the course is opened up you can have access to all the information that that you need um, now you can also access other documents in here um, so home page is where all the information is um, let's see yeah so if I email you and when I email you, um, I do that through announcements. So my emails go to your, uh, to the Gmail, to the email address that's associated with your canvas. If you ever lose that email, keep in mind that you can go under announcement in your canvas course, and there will be a copy of all the emails that I sent to you. Uh, assignments, that's where your homework and stuff are. You can upload them there. Discussion is when you do your participation assignments on. And if you click here on syllabus, that takes you to our syllabus. Also, everything that's due is also listed here. Um, so modules is where all our weekly modules are and all the course materials, quizzes, that's where the quizzes are. Um, once they're posted, you take them. And uh, NetTutor is an online tutor um, system that uh, I highly encourage you to use them. Uh, this, we use it for quizzes, the secure exam proctor, and all. Now, let's click on the syllabus. So this is where the syllabus for our course is posted. So Camp 40 Hybrid here, you click on it and you download and you can go open. So your first assignment actually is reading the, the syllabus. So I'm not gonna go through everything in the syllabus. I just wanna bring to your attention a couple of important things, but make sure that you read the syllabus word by word. So some general information, course objectives. Um, I have some important dates in here, but make sure that you also check these dates with the uh, college catalog to make sure that you don't miss any of the deadlines if you're looking into it. So the textbook for our course is um, Foundation of College Chemistry, the 15th edition. Um, you can purchase your textbook, the hard copy from the bookstore on campus, or you can also buy the e-textbook by going onto Wiley's course. You just put in our course ID, which is this number, and then you can purchase the e-textbook. Please note that we will not be using Wiley Plus. So there is no need to purchase the Wiley Plus access code. All you need is just the, the textbook. Your chemistry lab manual, you can buy that from the bookstore. Make sure you buy the 2018-19. You're gonna need to have goggles, which have to be a splash proof, scientific calculator, and also 
a webcam for completing quizzes on Canvas. So we have the, the grading system here, the class structure, things that you will be doing and rules about the lab and uh, which you really need to read very, very carefully. Make sure that you're aware of all the policies. Keep in mind that there is no makeup allowed for the labs. Um, if you walk in late and after I have given the free lab lecture, you will not be allowed to, to work. Um, we have no makeup policy for almost all the work, so make sure that you read all the class policies. Grade error, this is an important part too. Make sure that you read and see what the policies are if you think that um, there is an error in your, in your grade. Um, I also want to bring to your attention that the use of cell phones are um, not allowed during um, lab time or during exams, quizzes, or, or anything. Um, please be mindful of that. Um, so if you work with Access, please make sure that you um, contact me um, privately. Um, and please read the information about access and how to make arrangements with, with access. So this is your syllabus and this is how you can find all the information. If you have any questions, please um, contact me. Uh, make sure that you read the syllabus carefully and make sure that you complete the welcome assignments by the due date. Now. Um, if you fail to complete the welcome assignments by the due date, or if you do not show up to the to any lab in the first week of classes, you'll be dropped. So please be very mindful. Uh, please account for traffic. Our labs start 7.30 a.m. sharp. Um, take into account the traffic, parking, and everything, and um, be there on time.